back in 2014, I was actually playing a round of golf with my good friend Steve Carfina, who doesn't need any introductions, uh, and your Hall of Famer. And um, we were playing golf, and I was like, Steve, you know, what are you doing with your name? What are you doing with basketball? What's going on? You know, he's like, oh, I don't know, I'm not too sure. So why don't we start a basketball event? I'm your co-host, Steve Swizzle, and we've got a special guest on tonight, Mr. Danny Kodahi. How you going, Danny? Not too bad. Good to, good to be here. Thanks for having me on. I've been involved in basketball now since the age of 10, um, and you know, it's, it's been a passion for me. I basically played uh, all the way through high school, representative level, had the opportunity to travel the world, uh, played in countries like Canada, the US, the Philippines, Lebanon, um, and just have been hooked onto it from a young age and uh, even to this day I still have the same passion I did when I first started. Um, apart from that I'm also a, man, a co-founder and uh, a director at a company called DK and Blue where we um, provide corporate uniforms, promotional services and uh, promotional merchandise to corporate companies. So um, I've been in business, I'm an entrepreneur, I've been in business on my own since uh, 2003 and uh, you know, started the business in basketball as well. So took a passion project and uh, turned it into a business from a hobby to a you know almost a full time business now as well. What did you enjoy the most about playing basketball? I think the, the competing, the you know, competing against other players, competing against yourself. Um, how do you, how do you drive yourself to become better every time? Um, you know, learning new skills. Um, you know, the travel, meeting new people. I've still got friends today that I've played basketball with many, many years ago, and our kids are actually playing together at the moment. So, uh, you know, the, the circles of friends that you make, they're just incredible. Basketball is close to your heart, and it's, uh, I take it, it's a family affair? Uh, absolutely. Um, yeah. I've got uh, two younger brothers that both play basketball. We, we had many battles in the backyard, and uh, a lot of them ended in tears. For my two younger brothers, not for me, but anyway, we won't go to that. But yeah, we, we competed pretty aggressively and um, all played at a rep level. And, um, you know, we're all pretty much involved in the sport today as well. And taking, you know, your, from your playing days to, um, to now, um, the best lessons you think you've learned from playing basketball? Yeah, I mean, the, the biggest things, I mean, whether it's sport or in business or in life, those, those skill sets, um, you know, transform to different areas. So, you know, things like you know, dedication, you know, when, it, when your friends are out at the beach or um, you're hanging out with their friends at the mall, you know, I was on the court honing my skills, trying to get better, um, trying to learn new things. So the dedication piece is key. Um, you know, the perseverance, you know, injuries, how do you come back from injuries as well? Um, all these little hurdles that you, you get in life and in business. And it's important for the kids to actually understand that because uh, part of the academy is actually getting the kids the skill sets to actually learn how to become better people off the court, not just on the court. And you make mention of uh, your basketball academy, the number one draft pick basketball academy in Sydney. Um, can you tell us a little bit more about uh, your basketball academy? When did it start and um, who's involved? Sure, okay. Um, so back in 2014, I was actually playing a round of golf with my good friend Steve Carfina, who doesn't need any introductions, uh, MVP Hall of Famer. And um, we were playing golf and I was like, Steve, you know, what are you doing with your name? What are you doing with basketball? What's going on? You know, what, he's like, oh, I don't know, you know, I'm not too sure. I said, why don't we start a basketball academy? And Steve's like, oh, you know what? I'm, I don't know business too well. I said, don't worry about the business. I'll take care of the business. You, you know, you be the face of it and, you know, do the promotion and, you know, all that kind of stuff. And yeah, he's like, that's great. Let's do it. And uh, my two boys at the time had started playing basketball and, they were going to a few classes and I thought, you know what, we can do this better. Um, so then we started the academy back in April of 2014. And we were, at the time we were just focusing on school holiday camps. It gave an, an opportunity for parents to, you know, get the kids off the computers, get them off the TV screens and, you know, eating junk food and getting active and, and meeting new friends rather than just sitting around at home. So we went off and basically developed that and we thought, okay, we'll do that over the school holidays and that kept evolving. And then the parents were like, oh, what a great program. You know, do you do classes outside of the school holidays? So then we developed our um, development academy, which we run every week, every term throughout the, throughout the year. Um, so it goes for a 10 week program each, uh, each school term. And then from there, we started, you know, introducing the five year olds. And so we cater from five year old beginners all the way through to 17, 17 year old elite players. 
um, and we're basically on court 50 weeks of the year. Wow, that's that's a lot of basketball. But like you mentioned, uh, it's it's all about dedication, isn't it? It's, mm-hmm. it's honing your craft to to be the best at what you can be. And yes. uh, you, you've got great uh, mentorship there in in, in Steve Carfee. And I'm a big fan of Steve. Mm-hmm. Um, I remember watching him, you know, play for the Kings. Uh, it was one of my favourite players. Still is in the in the Kings uniform. Yes. And uh, one of my um, just memories from Steve was I ended up playing a picket game um, in Curl Curl um, mm-hmm. basketball court, and uh, he was there, and it was just like this big thrill trying to mark up on. Uh, Mr. Magic himself, so that yes. was a that was a big highlight for me. I, I thought I'd like to share that <laughs> with Absolutely. you. So yeah, you go back a long way with Steve. I do. I uh, I met him actually when I was 16 years old, and um, we just through a fr- mutual friend. I actually went out with him to a basketball camp he was holding at Penrith Basketball Stadium yeah. many many years ago, and I still to this day won't don't forget. We got out of the car and we got mobbed by hundreds of kids, all wanting Steve's autograph. And he stood there and gave me his autograph, went into the stadium, and there was no word of lies, about two, three hundred kids on that court and all wanting to get Steve's photograph and yeah, um, yeah uh, a signature of his and autograph and and yeah, ever since then we've you know we've kept in touch over the years and here we are now, we've started up one of the you know, leading academies in, in Australia. That's great. And you you make mention it's a leading academy. Um, how would you say that number one draft pick differentiates itself from other coaching academies? Absolutely. So I'm a firm believer that kids will hear different messages from different people and they will relate to somebody better than another person. So with our academy, our, our whole thing is about delivering world-class players and coaches. Mm-hmm. What we focus on is bringing in skill level from all around the world. Um, you know, we've had camps with some of the best names in Australian basketball. You know, we've had Andrew Gaze, uh, Shane Hill, um, Damien Cotter, um, you know, um, who else have we had? James Innes, we brought out James Innes from the Memphis Grizzlies at the time. Um, he was just recently playing with Philly and we did a camp with him over in Perth with the Perth Wildcats and we did a tour of Sydney as well with him. So we're always trying to give the kids something different than they would get just from the same coach every every single week. So we, we all, always look at putting on great events. Um, one of our best ones we did was with Josh Powell, the Sydney Kings at the time. And we did a an elite camp for kids at Kudos Bank Arena. And every kid that attended the camp got a ticket to a Kings versus Perth Wildcats game. And we met with all the players before the game. They got a chance to go into the locker room to meet the players. Uh, they got on the court at Kudos Bank Arena, had some shots, put some shots up, took some pictures on half court. So it's an experience that they wouldn't normally get if we weren't able to provide that. So that's always something that we do like to think outside the box and deliver something that's unique. And it's, a, it's all about those experiences for the kids. Speaking of looking up and you know, being bright, bright-eyed, uh, who were your favourite basketball players when you were growing up? Oh man, my, my favourite of all time has to be MJ. Yeah. Uh, growing up, uh, watching Michael Jordan play, I was, I was mesmerised with his skill. I was just like, wow, this is unbelievable. Just trying to you know, see what he did on the court to the opposition was just, was just incredible. So growing up, I was a massive MJ fan. And even to this day, um, it's all MJ. Yeah. And in today's game, um, Steph Curry is, is my, my favourite. I, I grew up as a three-point shooter. That was my thing in the game. And um, just watching... I love watching three-point shooters and seeing how they can change the swing of a game and the flow of the game uh, in an instant by, you know, a couple of quick threes and all of a sudden momentum's changed. So I love watching Steph Curry play these days, yeah. Isn't it amazing, though, how basketball has evolved? Because, you know, the three-point shot 15 years ago, big no-no for, say, say the big man to take. <laughs> Uh, but now it's it's part and parcel of the game, and everybody has to shoot when they're you know when they're on the floor they've got to shoot. As I take it these are these are developments in the game that uh, your basketball academy um, obviously stays on top of the distance with trying to be the best at teaching these new developments. In the yeah, absolutely. I mean, we're always looking at new skills. What what's the latest and what are the latest trends in Europe and the US. Uh, I always want to ensure that our coaches always understand what's, what are the latest teaching methods and how they work. And, you know, we've got an amazing cast of coaches. You know, we've got um, you know, uh, Roderick Proctor, 
who has played in Sydney at, in C, CBA level at the time back then with the, with the uh, Sydney Comets and they won three championships in a row. He played with the West Sydney Slammers, played with the Sydney Kings. Um, you know, he's a wealth of knowledge, played college basketball. And so he's, he's our, one of our lead coaches, as well as Marvin Bayer. Who's been, who's had his own basketball academy for a number of years as well. Who's, uh, you know, one of Sydney's greatest um, development coaches as well. Um, we've got an NBL uh, third all-time leading scorer in NBL history in Wayne McDaniel behind Andrew Gaze and Leroy Loggins. So Wayne's been with the academy for a number of years. He does a lot of great work with the kids. And um, you know, we've also got Lee Cooper, who's been coaching rep level for a number of years with the Comets. Um, and you know, that's just a few of them. Like we've got. Some, some great minds in the game and they're always looking at improving themselves so they can teach the kids better things as well. Towards the future, the goals for number one draft pick? Yeah, I mean, we, we want to keep growing and spreading the game of basketball, um, you know, helping the kids in the community, trying to, you know, get them engaged, meeting new friends, making new acquaintances. Um, you know, at the moment, we've got about two and a half thousand kids that have been through the academy. We want to keep building on that and. Uh, you know, what we do is work with the associations in New South Wales where we introduce the kids to the game, we teach them the fundamentals and then we filter them based on the area that they're at to the local association where they can play to a social social team. So we really want to introduce kids to the game and, and giving them that opportunity to, to have a taste and see what it's like. Is it something they, they enjoy and, um, you know, they can develop some new skills and then hone those in to start using those in their games. Fantastic. Well, Danny, thank you so much. On behalf of the rest of the Shooters Roll squad, I do thank you for your time and uh, sharing a little bit about yourself and also uh, about number one draft pick, Basketball Academy. Looking for great things developing, you know, the next Ben Simmons, the next Absolutely. Andrew Gaze, yes. the next Steve Carfino. Pleasure, Daddy. Thanks very much for your time. Subscribe to our channel and stay in touch. See you on the next one.